let's take a walk through autoimmunity. The human body is a haven for life. And much like a prosperous country, is prone to attack. Throughout your entire life, every minute of every day, your body is under invasion from the outside world. Bacteria, microbes, toxins, and parasites have their own specialized methods of attack. Thankfully, your body can defend itself with its own highly sophisticated army, the immune system. Like an army, the immune system is highly diversified, full of specialized warriors capable of countering an attack, however and wherever invasion occurs. On the front lines of the battle, your skin provides a stalwart barrier between outside invasion and the fragile, life-sustaining organs within. To fight off attackers, also known as antigens, that do enter the body, the immune system wields an immense arsenal of cells which work together to prevent disease. Dendritic cells capture antigens and present them to T-cells. T-cells are the most important immune cells. They can recognize disease-causing microorganisms and rally other immune cells to attack the invaders or kill the invaders themselves. B-cells produce antibodies, substances that are designed to attack specific antigens. Phagocytes, like ravenous monsters working for the immune system, are large cells that eat antigens, capturing and destroying microbes and other foreign particles. A healthy immune system will keep the body free of sickness most of the time, recognizing harmful foreign invasion and using its legions of cells to attack sickness-causing antigens. But sometimes, the immune system stops working properly, and instead of attacking harmful intruding antigens, it mistakenly attacks the body's own cells. This friendly fire is called autoimmunity. In an autoimmune disorder, the immune system begins to manufacture T cells and antibodies directed against its own cells and tissues. As a result, healthy cells and tissues are destroyed, which leaves the person's body unable to perform important functions. Nobody is certain exactly why or how autoimmune disorders occur, but contributing factors include genetics and environmental conditions that can trigger the disorder. Some of the known environmental triggers include drugs, viruses, bacteria, foods, pollutants, hormones, and stress. There are hundreds of known autoimmune disorders that affect nearly every part of the body, but some of the most common are rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, Crohn's disease, psoriasis, multiple sclerosis, and vasculitis. Treatments for autoimmune disease include hormone replacement. In some autoimmune diseases, hormone-producing glands are destroyed, leaving the body without key parts of its messaging system. When this occurs, a doctor can prescribe replacement hormones. A common example of this is in the use of insulin in patients with type 1 diabetes or thyroid hormone replacement in Hashimoto's disease. Corticosteroids are used to control inflammation by suppressing the overactive immune system. The disadvantage of this treatment is that it can leave the body susceptible to outside harm because they suppress the whole immune system. NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, are used to ease pain and swelling. DMARDs, disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs, are used to suppress an overactive immune system and can reduce pain and swelling and prevent long-term damage to joints and organs. Biologics, often called immune response modifiers, are a class of drug which interpret the events that drive inflammation by targeting a specific attack rather than a whole body attack. Currently, scientists are experimenting with stem cell therapy treatments for autoimmune diseases. Such treatments involve reprogramming cells to replace damaged tissue or replace a patient's immune system altogether by replacing bone marrow where immune cells are generated. Though millions suffer from autoimmune disorders, more new treatments and research are available to keep the body's defenses aimed towards its enemies rather than towards itself. Brought to you by the American Autoimmune Related Diseases Association, or AARDA.